Hi there. We are going to create a navigation with Flight Assistant on a mobile device. From the home page, tap My Flight Plans. The list of your flight plans will show. Tap the plus button on the top right corner to create a new one. You first need to enter your departure. And then the arrival. You can use the code or the name of the airport. Then you need to name your flight plan so that it is saved. In this setup, the map and the navigation log are shown together. It will be different on a phone or on a tablet in portrait mode. On the map, whether it is when editing a flight plan or when actually flying, a tap on any point will display information. Here, you can see the details of the airport with altitude and frequencies, as well as airspaces at this location with floor and ceiling. A tap on the airport will show the airport briefing. You can access all the details and airport documents. We are going to insert some waypoints in our flight. For example, we can add the VFR reporting points for the CTR. On the map, use a long press to perform an action. In the context menu, you can choose the point that you want to insert. We are adding the two reporting points, and then we will fly over the airfield of Alice. Let's now take off our flying altitude. We will use the terrain profile at the bottom of the map. With the pen button on the top right corner, you can edit the leg that is currently selected. Tap on the cruise altitude field to set the new value. For example, let's enter 3500 feet. As you can see, the altitude has been applied to the rest of the flight. Let's now have a look at our arrival altitude. We have seen on the airport map that the landing pattern was at 1,900 feet. We are planning an arrival at 2,400 feet, 500 feet above the landing pattern. We see the result on the flight profile and the navigation log with a descent calculated to arrive at 2,400 feet above Obena. We can see on the map the top of climb and the top of descent that we will use during flight. Any point can be used as a waypoint. It does not have to be an airfield or an avid. Long press anywhere on the map, select Add this point. You can then give it a meaningful name. As a wrap-up, I wanted to highlight two things on the navigation log. You can see here that the cruise altitude we have set is highlighted in red. You can see as well on the flight profile that we cannot reach 3,500 feet as requested on the leg to November Echo. Flight Assistant computes the flight from the actual plane performances. In this very case, we cannot reach the altitude on such a short leg. The requested altitude cannot be met and therefore it is displayed as an alert. The second element I wanted to show you is a summary at the bottom of the log. It shows total distance, total flight time and engine time for the flight with the selected plane. This setup with the map and the navigation log side by side is the most comfortable to use, but it is only available on tablet in landscape mode. The application will look different on a phone or on a tablet in portrait mode. Let's now see the major differences when using Flight Assistant on a phone. The home page looks different, but it leads to the same information. For example, the application status is on a separate page. To access the Flight Plans Management, tap Flight Preparation and then My Flight Plans. With automatic data synchronization, the flight plans that we have created on tablet are synchronized to our phone. Let's select the navigation we have just created on tablet and tap the pencil button to start editing it. The navigation log is now presented on its own. The flight summary is still at the bottom of the log. To display the map, use the top right menu and select Map. The map is the same as on tablet, with the same interactions. We will still use a long press to perform an action, for example, remove a point from the flight plan. We go back to the navigation log with the top right menu. As on tablet, we can insert a point directly after the current leg with the plus button. We look for the point by its name or code and it is added to the navigation log. 
The context menu on each leg allows to delete a point. We can as well reorder the legs. This is the end of this presentation and you can now create your own navigation on tablet or mobile. Happy flights with Flight Assistant!